we go. What's going on my fellow Z fighters? My name is Evil Spartan and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. Now today I have finally, finally, finally have beat Extreme Madness and it's been extremely a big pain in my ass. It's been so annoying. It's it, <laughs> I've tried to beat it so many times and it's just a very annoying mission and it just pisses me off all the time so I gave up on it for a while but today I told myself I'm gonna try and uh, yesterday some people requested on a step-by-step -step guide on how to beat it and I did some research I looked up some stuff I got hints from people on Facebook on the Dragon Balls Universe 2 forums or community page and they helped me out they told me what things to equip and in my past videos they've told me what things to equip too so I finally decided to do another video on extreme matters and have tried to beat it and get it complete and see what happens and this time I was hoping I'd have better luck than all the other times so first off what I want to tell you about is the equipment that I have now the equipment I have time patroller suit because it increases five and in health key and blast supers now I have the full set except for the arm pieces I don't think they exist so I just picked some random ones that gave me key blast and health boost. And after that, I used this is a real Kamehameha, which is uh, one of Goku's Super Saiyan 3 Goku's Super Souls that increases Kamehameha's by a lot. Now the super attacks that I use: Big Bang Kamehameha, Regular Kamehameha, Die Die Missile Barrage, Maximum Charge, Supernova, which I don't really use that much, Energy Zone, Super Vegeta as my Awoken skill, and anything you want for an evasive skill. You don't really need it that much. Now I'm showing you my stats right now, and I have like. I'm, I forgot to up, upgrade myself right now and this was after I beat the mission but those were my stats now those moves that I mentioned they're really good for the mission like die die missile barrage I was using a lot against one of those super giant key explosive waves that they would launch at us and die die missile barrage worked pretty well with that now energy zone what you want to do with energy zone zone when your health is getting kind of low you want to start using it or when you see your friends or your your calm allies health getting low you want to use that and what i kind of did was i tried to damage the enemies as much as i could get their health down to the yellow bar at least so i could save some time because energy zone kind of takes a little bit to to launch or the, the animation takes a little bit before you can start using energy zone as you can see um, I just spammed it a couple of times so I could get perfect health and so my teammates could get higher health too and then I started attacking again and I just did a lot of rinsing and repeating uh, with Big Bang Kamehameha and Energy Zone. Sometimes I use the regular Kamehameha with, so I could get like quicker hits off of it or just whenever so I, w so I could hit him really quickly and because Big Bang Kamehameha took too long to charge it up and use so I use Kamehameha every once in a while I rarely used it but I was resorting to Big Bang Kamehameha most of the time now as you can see I'm fighting Golden Freezer right now and his health is getting pretty low so I charge up take my time use energy zone so I could get my friends or my allies health up and then I keep on using it so right here you get me you see me get kind of attacked by one of his like evasive skills I guess you could say and I'm charging up and I kind of messed up right there healing Ronin which is a uh, calm they're all comms but once I see them healed I use super en or en energy zone to heal him up and he could get his health up and I was using it for myself too at the same time so I could get my health up so I spam it a couple of times and yeah so right now I'm charging up because I need energy to use the die die missile barrage and hopefully my teammates or the comms push back the key blast and big bang command may or sorry that damn missile barrage worked pretty well. Now you want to do this pretty quickly. Well, you want to get through Kid Buu and Broly very fast. Make sure you get them get through them really fast because Frieza has a little bit more health than the rest of them. And Janemba, towards the end of his life, he starts blasting you. Not blasting you. He 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 shoots you through a dimension ray, or like he does one of those big blast things that teleport you elsewhere, and you have to fight like three enemies to get back to him. And I cut it really close this time around. It it was awesome. <laughs> I was so excited. You guys should have seen my reaction. I didn't voice over it because I wanted to concentrate on the game. And didn't want to lose my train of thought while I was trying to commentate. And then when whenever Janemba, Kibu, whoever uses it, Omega Shenron, whoever uses it, um, that little blade thing that's happening right now, 
you want to use the Z Banish. The Z Banish helps you dodge those. So the way you Z Banish for Xbox One is hitting the left trigger and tapping A and moving in a direction like left or right. Don't move left, right, left, right because I kind of tried that out and I got attacked or got hit by the Z by the the blades. Now here you see me fight Lord Slug. After Lord Slug is Majin Vegeta, and then after him was um who was it Mira? I think Mira or Toa. Toa. I think Toa is a girl. But this part right here, I was kind of nervous because I knew I was gonna have to fight, and I took a little long on Lord Slug, which kind of annoyed me because I didn't have enough stamina. So you might want to get a little bit more stamina under your belt. But I still did it. I still managed to beat him. And after Lord Slug was Machin Vegeta and then Toa, but it's not gonna be that order every time, so it'll be different. But I think for sure it's gonna be three different enemies you have to defeat, and then you'll be able to fight Janemba again. If you have at least three minutes towards the end of his life, you'll be able to beat him. And right now I just spam Big Bang Kamehameha to finally get that kill. The ultimate finish, I was super excited guys. I was so excited that I had finally beat the mission. So there you have it guys, thanks for watching, please leave a thumbs up if you kind of like this guide. If you need me to explain a little bit more things, I'll be happy to, I think I explained a good amount of things, I'm sorry if I didn't. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and to my subscribers, I just want to give you a big thank you and a big shout out to all of you guys for supporting me. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, which is pretty crazy to me because in November 15th, I had my first 100, and almost a month and a half later, I have pretty close to a thousand so 900 subscribers in that short amount of time is a pretty badass feeling and i'm like grateful for all of you guys and thankful for all your support it really means a lot and hopefully i keep on making good content content for you guys and hopefully i keep on continuing to grow thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you guys later